So I've been sculpting in Blender for a month now and lately, the last couple of days, I've been really struggling with sculpting tiny objects in Blender such as hands or other tiny objects. So I decided to try out Nomad Sculpt and in this video, I would like to go over some of the basic stuff that you will need when you open the program for the first time. I thought maybe I could speed up the process and help you a bit. So yeah. The first thing you see is this sphere. You can already sculpt on it with your brush. You can see that it's mirrored. With this button, you can turn the mirror off or on. Next is navigation. You can zoom in and out with two fingers. Rotate with one. You have to make sure that you only rotate around the object and not on the object itself. Because if you try to rotate and you accidentally touch the object, you will deform it and sculpt on it. This is something that I find annoying in the process, so I'll show you how to turn it off. You have to go to the setting icon in the right corner, and then you have to click on the hand that says gesture. In the first section that is called finger and stylus, you can click on the stylus for the sculpt. And now when you turn around, you rotate around the object, nothing will happen, you will not sculpt on it, and your object is safe. Some other navigation options that you have is moving with two fingers on the screen. You can also undo by tapping with two fingers once, and redo when tapping with three fingers once. You can also hold it and then it will undo everything. You can increase or decrease the brush by holding three fingers on the screen and swiping up or down. I personally find it very important to know where my object is in a 3D space. And in this case, in this app, Nobot Sculpt, you can see that the background is basically like a black hole, meaning you don't really know where the object is. We can fix this by adding a grid, so let's add a grid. You can go to the top corner and click on the hand, and then you can click on the interface button. You can see that the grid uh, button is already enabled because it's yellow, so if you click on it, it will be disabled and be in a white color. And if you click on it, it will become yellow again. However, we don't see a grid. There's nothing really going on. It's still very dark. On the bottom, you can see another grid icon. So there's two. You have to turn both on for you to be able to see the grid. Now that we have a 3D space to work in, we can also move the object, which is what I like to do. I would like the object to be on top of the floor and not in the floor. So if you go to the bar on the right side, you can actually scroll down that you can see an icon that's called Gizmo. If you click on that, you get these arrows and if you move them up or down or to the side, you can move the object. So now we move up and then my object will be exactly on the floor. Now we have our object. On the floor, we can rotate around it without it being sculpted on, zoom in and out and do everything we want to do. Now lastly, if you would like to add an object, you can go to the layer panel, which is here. It's the second button on the top. If you click on the layer button, you can see more options on the top. And one of them is add, so if you click the add button, you will actually have a few options. So you can click box also the torus and then if you would like you can uh, maybe try to make the donut the blender donut tutorial in nomad sculpt and then you can adjust it some more if you click on it there's these circles that you can pull on and customize it a little bit and then you have a, a cute little planet lastly if you are a blender user this box here is different than it is in Blender. This is more of a cube or a ball. And in Blender you kind of have like the line ones, but you can actually change that. If you go to the setting gear, it's called snap cube. Um, and you can change the shape to a cube, a ball, which it is now. And the lines with dots. So if you click that, then you have the same one as Blender. It might feel a bit more familiar. I personally really like that because it feels 
like I am a little more in Blender and since I'm comfortable in Blender, I will be less scared of sculpting in Nomad Scope. And if you click these, you can snap to certain viewpoints. This is all I discovered so far. It's only been a day, but hopefully I'll discover more and find out more. And if you have any questions, then let me know.